the painting. Queen of the Sun Realm by Chris Ortega in size 50 by 70 cm rounds. We've got the image complete. This is what it looks like without special treatment. And now that we have completed it, one way that you can enhance your diamond paintings is by either placing the special treatment as you work on your project, or you can also complete it first without the special treatment beads, and then decide where you would like to add your crystals and your diamonds onto the painting. So in this case, we've completed it first, using only the free ABs that we have, which has been used over there, but it's very, very small amount. So this time around, we're going to use the ice for this gem, the dark blue on the peacock feathers will be in sapphire. And then of course, for this portion, outlining here, her headdress, as well as her collar will be in old gold and leftovers we will use on the rings so we'll show you what it looks like afterwards but this is basically this painting by Chris Ortega and this is comprised of here's the legend it is comprised of a total of 36 colors so once again we do this so that you guys don't get overwhelmed with so much confetti by minimizing the similar hues and color without causing a detrimental effect to the image quality and the detail of the painting. So as you can see, it is beautiful and looks pretty much like an actual picture of a woman. Queen of the Sun Realm by Chris Ortega. All right, this is a painting by Chris Ortega. And this version, we have the special treatment where we have placed ice crystals for this giant gem on her forehead as part of her headdress. We also have old gold on these areas. And then these are the sapphire crystals for the blue area of the peacock, also known as the eye of the peacock feather more old gold for the outline of her necklace as well as for her ring so this is with icicles sapphire and old gold